What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 and PS5 jailbreak news update. So we've got a little update here to the Masticore exploit from Seaturt. So this was an exploit that was originally disclosed back in September of 2022. And I did a video when this initially was disclosed. I'll leave it in the cards and down in the video description. So a quick rundown of how this exploit works. It's essentially an exploit in the PS2 emulator for the PS4 and PS5. And it can be triggered by using a vulnerability in, a, in an existing PS2 game. So in this case, it was Oakage Shadow King that Seaturt used. He released a video down here that shows it running right here. So he runs the game, Oakage Shadow King. There's a pre-existing exploit in this game, a buffer overflow that can be triggered through a modified save file. So all he does is load the save file, which triggers the exploit. And then he uses that exploit to further exploit the PS2 emulator to the point where he's actually able to send another PS2 game over the network to his PS4. And then, of course, once that's uploaded, he's then able to boot into that other PS2 app. So that's all that this exploit can do in its current state with the first part of this exploit, because we haven't had the second part released yet. It comes in two parts. First part was disclosed back in September. Second part is yet to be disclosed. So, you know, essentially the way that this works is that it uses JIT privileged code on the PS5, uh, which is something that Sony has been trying to remove in the PS5. However, they're not able to remove it in the PS2 emulator. And the advantage of this is the fact that it kind of makes it hard to patch, maybe even unpatchable. So it should work on the latest firmwares on the PS4 and PS5. So when part two eventually comes out, hopefully it will get disclosed at some point. And once once we have that, the idea is that part two will be able to take this exploit even further to the point of not just being able to load PS2 games, it will also potentially be able to load PS4 native apps. So that's potentially homebrew apps, emulators, maybe other PS4 games that could be launched using this method. And what's cool about this is that it could do this without requiring a kernel exploit to be chained with. So for the PS5, it could potentially be used to load, you know, other PS4 games and PS4 apps, maybe PS5 apps. I don't know. That's not really outlined here, but certainly PS4 apps potentially could be loaded with this on the PS5, even without a hypervisor exploit or a kernel exploit on the PS5 and on the latest firmwares on the PS5 as well. So um, yeah, a pretty big deal. But again, part two still to be disclosed. We don't know how long that will take. So why am I bringing this up again? I covered this well enough back in September. Well, this time we have another person, Macaulay in this case, who has managed to re-implement this exploit. So, so far, Seaturt's the only one we've seen who's actually done this because he never actually released the save file that was required in order to do this. So unfortunately, nobody else has really been able to do this so far. However, we now have Macaulay here who's managed to re-implement it himself and has managed to do this. And not just do this, but also do this on the PS5. And he released a video to prove it on the latest firmware, as you can see here, 6.50. So he's on 6.50 on the PS5. So what he does from this point on is he takes a save, a modded save file from the USB stick and copies that over to the console. And then, of course, loads up the game. In this case, it's OK Shadow King again, the same game as on PS4, just to prove that the exploit definitely works on the PS5 on the latest firmware. We already suspected it would, but this is just video proof that it indeed works here. So again, same idea. He just goes ahead and loads up that modified save file. It triggers the exploit and then he downloads another PS2 ISO from the network, sends it over his network. And then once that finishes downloading, as you can see right here, you get the PS2 game finally loading here. And he's actually loaded what is this, a GTA? Okay, Midnight Club 3. So uh, yeah, there you go. There's another PS2 game running right there. You can see some of the, the glitches that are showing up on screen here. Some of these emulator bugs. And that's quite interesting because one of the issues with this for loading other PS2 games is because you're loading the PS2 game from the Oakage Shadow King game, any other PS2 game you run will be using the same emulator settings as Oakage Shadow King. So you can't really tailor the emulator to work best with a specific game. So if a game doesn't run well in the OK Shadow King emulator settings, it's just not going to run well. Um, but, you know, these are just some visual artifacts that you can run into. But as you can see there, proof there that it's working on uh, the PS5, which is pretty interesting. 
And he also released a video of him doing this on the PS4 as well on 5.05. Uh, so as you can see here, same idea, loads the same save file. And then there we go. The PS2 game loader initializes, downloads, and then it, he loads FIFA using this. And again, it's the same game. OK, Shadow King is what the PS4 reports he's playing when he's actually playing a completely different PS2 game. So I was kind of hoping that perhaps he would uh, actually release the save file because that's something that Seaturt never released the save file. I believe he wanted to pe people to figure it out themselves. And of course, Macaulay here has figured it out himself. So hopefully he'll release it so that everybody else can kind of have a play around with this exploit. Um, but so far, he has not released it. It's only been a day though. So perhaps he will release it at some point. I'm hoping it's possible Seaturt being you know, reporting exploits to Sony, that th there might be some kind of agreement there where he's not allowed to actually release an implementation of the exploit, but he is allowed to release, you know, part of the, of a general rundown of how the exploit works, which is similar to what we got with the flow, where the flow was in some cases only allowed to do a partial disclosure where the exploit was revealed on, you know, what the vulnerability was, but there was no actual you know, implementation allowed to be disclosed, like an actual code that you could run on the system. So there could be something like that, but that shouldn't apply to Macaulay here, who's a different person who shouldn't have any of those agreements with Sony uh, since this was discovered by Seaturt. So with somebody else implementing the exploit themselves, they won't be under any kind of agreement there. So there should really be nothing preventing him from releasing the save file. But of course, that all depends on whether he wants to release it or not. So um, yeah, that's pretty much what we've got so far there. So one of the, my recommendations right now is it might be a good idea for you to buy this game. If you have a PS4 on the latest firmware or you have a PS5 on the latest firmware, even if you don't have a PS4 or PS5 on the latest firmware, you can still just go to store.playstation.com, sign into your PSN account, and then just buy it uh, right there on the website. But preferably, it's better to have a console that's actually on the latest firmware so you can also download it to your console just in case this game ever gets removed in the future. Again, it's not super likely that they would remove it, but if this ever became the sole entry point for jailbreaking PS5s in the future, then you could see Sony potentially removing it from the store at some point. So be better to get it now while you still can, just in case. Even though it probably won't be removed from the store at any point, there's always a chance. So it might be a good idea, especially since it actually appears to be on discount right now. I think I bought it for the full price, but you can get it for a, d a decent discount right now as well. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There was also something I saw about another uh, bug bounty report on Hacker One by AXQ, who got a $3,000 bounty. I don't really think this has got anything to do with the PS4 or PS5 though, because you can see that 3000 is the exact amount for a critical bug in PlayStation Network. So it's more likely to be a PlayStation Network bug report rather than a PS4 or PS5 bug, bug report. It's not really within the range of a medium or high severity. So it feel, I feel like it must be, you know, a PlayStation Network report there. So uh, unlikely to be anything for the PS4 or PS5. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on this exploit, this Mastercore exploit, you know. Hopefully it's not a case of, okay, it was discovered in September 2021 and then part one was revealed a year later and then part two is going to be revealed a, a year later than that. So we have to wait all the way to September till we get part two. Uh, who knows, or maybe part two still being worked on. It might just be a difficult uh, problem to solve. So uh, yeah, anyway, we'll wait and see. But uh, that's all the news I've got for this exploit right now. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys once again in the next video.